A shalom akiam, wa akwath of the lads of the nation of Israel. Welcome back to part two of Syrac five and eight, which is a previous uh, video I did about you know riches profiting, not in the day of wrath. Okay, so called you know rich people, so called wealthy people, they have millions and billions of dollars stacked up for your so-called uh, legacy for your heritage here on earth well guess what your money won't profit you in the day of economic collapse and reset so lord's will the title of this lesson is riches profit not which is a continuation of the i want to get a quick precept james 5 and 1 and the not warning to the rich see and the, these are rich people that james was uh, speaking to you know, that's a lot of our, our people, a lot of uh, Hebrew Israelite men and women, okay, who have sold out to who today is known as the so-called white man. Okay, the so-called white man himself. So James 5 and 1, it says, look here, <clears throat> you rich people, weep and groan with anguish because of all the terrible troubles ahead of you. Yeah, the terrible troubles are what? Econo economic collapse. Okay, uh, you know, chaos, destruction, mayhem, you know, oil breaking loose here in America mainly. Your wealth, okay, your riches, you know, your your stocks, your 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 saved uh money in your bank account is rotting away. You see why? Because the uh the, the value of the uh the dollar is what it's falling, it's collapsing, and your fine clothes are moth eaten, rags, your gold and silver are corroded. The very wealth you were counting on will eat it away your flesh like fire. This corroded treasure you have hoarded will testify against you on the day of judgment. So, hey, before we go any further, we give all praises to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, Yahweh, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world through ignorance caused God, Jehovah or Yahweh. Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew means he exists, he to be. Ba, ba, en, ha, da, sham, name. Yahweh Shai, who the world through ignorance caused Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai in the ancient Hebrew means he saves, he delivers, or he is victory because through the Messiah, the elect, the hopeful elect in these last days are going to receive the victory over the image and the mark of the beast. Now these are examples of the twelve tribes of Israel, starting with the uh, with our forefather Abraham, down to Isaac and Jacob. Okay, and again you so called Negro Latino, Native American men, women and children, you make up the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. You are the true Hebrew Israelites and double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which are the men that taught me the hundred percent truth according to the holy scriptures what you see here is the ancient hebrew alphabet okay from from the ah to the tha okay when you read hebrew the ancient hebrew is written from right to left with a total of what 22 characters and you can get the characters as well in the book of psalms 119 chapter every eight verses okay you get a hebrew character so again richest prophet not so th these are examples that I just want to, um, you know, uh, add to the previous lesson. Okay, examples of the 15, the 15 richest black billionaires in 2022. And let's get, let's get some examples. Okay. It says these are the black men and women and women. Okay, not just the men, but the woman as well. So we go back to James 5 and 1. Okay, James 5 and 1, that's uh, the audience, the audience that James is speaking to is your so-called black people, okay, because, uh, you know, James, you know, being, I believe he was from the tribe of Judah, okay, that, that was his main audience, and not just so-called black people, but you have a lot of so-called Hispanics and Latinos who fall on the list, but primarily, okay, so-called black men, it says, look here, you rich people. 
Weep and groan with anguish because of, the, of all the terrible troubles ahead of you. And what is that? Jacob's trouble. Okay, a lot of these uh, so-called uh, black people, so-called Negroes, like Aliko uh, Dan Dangori. Kanye West, Rihanna, Michael Jordan, Jay-Z, Tyler Perry, okay, and those who follow their footsteps, man, yeah, these are, uh, you know, fake uh, heroes, these fake celebrities, because the true celebrities, man, are the, are the prophets of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. okay, they're all going to weep and hell in the day of judgment, it says, your wealth is rotting away, and your fine clothes are moth-eaten rags, yeah, like, you know, these uh, uh, billionaires, you know, they were the ones with uh, everything you saw. You know, there's nothing wrong, you know, um, you know, brothers, you know, liking, you know, various uh, brands of clothes. You know, you got to look good at times, but when it comes down to, to these, uh, you know, rich people, there's, there's no, there's no humility. You know, it's, it's always about, you know, them. See that? So, hey, even Esau, okay, th this all starts with Esau, Edom. But the point here is, this is primarily speaking about our people, okay? Our, our people who are following the steps of the so-called white man. It says, the wild is rotting away and your fine clothes are moth eaten rags. Your gold and silver are corroded. Okay, let's go into that word corroded. What does it mean when you're when your uh, money is being corroded or corroded, it says destroy or damage metal, stone, materials, burn and to consume, destroy, spoil, or rust. The effect, the affected, be affected. With rust. You know. Two thirds of our people, which we believe in the spirit, that these are all two thirds, man. No, these are, you know, Israelites who have sold out their soul to the so-called white man in order to get a what a uh, a temporal benefit. Let's get a precept. This is the book of. I believe that's in Mark. For what shall I profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Yeah, so these people have lost their own soul. Okay, they lost their, their integrity, their, their honor, you know, their their whole legacy. Because all these uh, so-called black people that you see here over the uh, southern kingdom, they all know they're Israelites. Tyler Perry, Jay-Z, he knows in, he's an Israelite. Michael Jordan, Rihanna. Okay, definitely Kanye West or for Winfrey. To the devil himself, it says the very wealth you were counting on will eat away. Yeah, and how much is that wealth? Billions of dollars. Will eat away your flesh like fire. This corroded treasure you have hoarded will testify against you on the day of judgment. It says, For listen, 
hear the cries of the field workers. Field is the world. You see that the field is the world. So Esau Edom has scammed the whole world, especially the Israelites, for a so-called, um, you know, future legacy. A You are uh, you two thirds. Luxury. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. 
yet they prosper and the right of the needy do they not judge yeah because two-thirds of our people who are so-called millionaires or billionaires they're not using their you know their the riches that they got from the devil himself to further the ministry to further the truth of Yahweh Shai man that's why the Lord is going to destroy okay a lot of you Israelites who are in the spirits okay of the so-called white man himself we get a last uh, precept and close down it says I think that's in Proverbs Khan 11 and 4 riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. You see that Proverbs 11 and 4, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. So these uh, FRNs, which FRNs are, it's an acronym, okay, for a federal or reserve notes. See, they're all going to be done away with very soon. So you Israelites that are into you know, money, luxuries, you know, you know, possessions, uh, hoarding yourselves with, with the fatness of the so-called white man. You will get slaughtered, man. Okay, the whole reason why the Lord is puffing you Israelites, okay, is, is for your destruction. Okay, for your great downfall. Let me get uh, another precept. It's the book of Job. Job 20. Job 20 and 23. And this is speaking about Esau, but it also applies to our people when he is about to fill his belly. Yeah, when you're about to uh, you know, make you know make more money, you know, have more more to your so-called peak, and you know, try to uh, retire. Okay, when you know before the day of judgment, you know hiding in your bunkers because you even have a lot of our people who have you know bought land, you know bought you know bunkers for the day of trouble. So when they are about to fill their belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon them, upon him. Okay, speaking about Esau, but also two thirds of our people, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yeah, and what is Yahweh Shemal Shai? going to rain upon them while they are eating okay. ancient times there was what uh sulfur balls okay so for oh sulfur and, and destruction to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah but now the uh, modern day sulfur or sulfur Ballistic missiles. Okay, these are examples of the book of Job. Okay, where it speaks about while he's eating, the Lord's gonna land on him or them. Okay, how Shemel Shai is going to land or rain upon them missiles. You see, this is the, dis the destruction or the uh, judgment. This is what, but the end, First Peter 4 and 7, but the end of all things is at hand. Yeah, the end of the Jay-Z's, the, the Kanye West's, the Rihanna's, the o Ophra Winfrey's. The end of these Israelites is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Yeah, the elect are going to be sober and watch the prophecies as well as pray. See? So the end of all things is at hand. Okay, the end of uh, lux Esau's luxuries. Okay, the, the end of the stock market. The end of uh, Babylon the Great. You see, this is a prophecy in First Peter 4 and 7. Hey, with that, again, riches profit not in the day of wrath. Okay, riches profit not. Continuation of previous lecture.